Rinal Sen, also spelled Rinal Shen, born the 14th of May 1923, is a noted Bengali filmmaker based in Kolkata. Along with his contemporaries Satyajit Ray and Ritwik Ghatak, he is often considered to be one of the greatest ambassadors of Bengali parallel cinema on the global stage. Like the works of Ray and Ghatak, his cinema is known for its artistic depiction of social reality. Although the three directors shared a healthy rivalry, they were ardent admirers of each other's work, and in so doing, they charted the independent trajectory of parallel cinema, as a counterpoint to the mainstream fare of Hindi cinema in India. Rinal Sen is an ardent follower of Marxist philosophy. <laughs> Early life and education Sen was born on 14 May 1923, in the town of Faridpur, now in Bangladesh in a Hindu family. After finishing high school there, he left home to come to Calcutta as a student. He studied physics at the well-known Scottish Church College, and subsequently earned a postgraduate degree at the University of Calcutta. As a student, he got involved with the cultural wing of the Communist Party of India. Although he never became a member of the party, his association with the Socialist Indian People's Theatre Association brought him close to a number of like-minded culturally associated people. Early interest in cinema Sen's interest in films started after he stumbled upon a book on film aesthetics. However, his interest remained mostly intellectual, and he was forced to take up the job of a medical representative, which took him away from Calcutta. This did not last very long, and he came back to the city and eventually took a job as an audio technician in a Calcutta film studio, which launched his film career. <laughs> <laughs> Directorial debut Rinal Sen made his first feature film, Riyat Bor, in 1955. It had the iconic Uttam Kumar who was not a star then. The movie was a let down. His next film, Neil Akasher Nietzsche, Under the Blue Sky, earned him local recognition, while his third film, Beishi Shravan, The Day When Rabindranath Tagore Died, was his first film that gave him international exposure. <laughs> Sen and new cinema in India After making five more films, he made a film with a shoestring budget provided by the Government of India. This film, Bhuvan Shom, Mr. Shom finally launched him as a major filmmaker, both nationally and internationally. Bhuvan Shom also initiated the New Cinema film movement in India. <laughs> Social context and its political influence The films that he made next were overtly political, and earned him the reputation as a Marxist artist. This was also the time of large scale political unrest throughout India, particularly in and around Calcutta. This period underwent what is now known as the Naxalite movement. This phase was immediately followed by a series of films where he shifted his focus, and instead of looking for enemies outside, he looked for the enemy within his own middle class society. This was arguably his most creative phase. Topic. Depiction of Kolkata In many Rinal Sen movies from Punasha to Mahaprithivi, Kolkata features prominently. He has shown Kolkata as a character, and as an inspiration. He has beautifully woven the people, value system, class difference and the roads of the city into his movies and coming of age for Kolkata, his El Dorado. Experimentation, recognition and acclaim During this period, he won a large number of international awards. It could be argued that although his films show the development of ideas from existentialism, surrealism, Marxism, German expressionism, postmodernism, nouvelle vague and Italian neorealism. Sen's cinema for the most part does not provide a happy ending or a definitive conclusion unlike many of the films of Sen's better known contemporary Satyajit Ray. In many of Sen's later films, the audience becomes a participant in the process of the development of the plot. The director invites and provokes the audience into a shared process of forming multiple conclusions, that are at the same time unique and different. The director does not play the role of God, his audience does. 
It is not really surprising that unlike Allen who has a steady niche audience in the Western literati and aficionados, Sen's experimentation with parallel cinema had significantly cost him much of a devoted audience composing of largely the Calcutta-based westernized intelligentsia. In 1982 he was a member of the jury at the 32nd Berlin International Film Festival. In 1983 he was a member of the jury at the 13th Moscow International Film Festival. In 1997 he was a member of the jury at the 20th Moscow International Film Festival. Rinal Sen never stopped experimenting with his medium. In his later films he tried to move away from the narrative structure and worked with very thin storylines. After a long gap of eight years, at the age of 80, he made his latest film, Aamar Bhuvan, in 2002. During his career, Rinal Sen's films have received awards from almost all major film festivals, including Cannes, Berlin, Venice, Moscow, Karlovy Vary, Montreal, Chicago, and Cairo. Retrospectives of his films have been shown in almost all major cities of the world. He was also elected as the president of the International Federation of the Film Societies. He received the Taj Enlightened Tarif Award which is given for a lifetime contribution to the world of cinema in 2008. He also received the Lifetime Achievement Award at the 10th edition of the Ocean Cinefest Film Festival 2008. On July 24, 2012, Rinal Sen was not invited to the function organized by West Bengal government to felicitate film personalities from the state. As per reports, his political views are believed to be the reason for his omission from the function. <laughs> Awards. Topic: National Awards. National Film Award for Best Feature Film. 1969, Bhuvan Shom. 1974, Chorus. 1976, Murugaya. 1980, Akalar Sandhay National Film Award for Second Best Feature Film. 1972, Calcutta 71. 1980, Kare National Film Award for Best Feature Film in Bengali 1961, Punasha 1965, Akash Kusum 1993, Antari National Film Award for Best Feature Film in Telugu 1977, Oka Ori Kathanational National Film Award, Special Mention, Feature Film 1978, Parashoram National Film Award for Best Direction 1969, Bhuvan Shom 1979, Ek Din Pratidin 1980, Akalar Sandhane 1984, Kondar National Film Award for Best Screenplay 1974, Padatik 1983, Akalar Sandhane 1984, Kari Filmfare Awards Critics Award for Best Film 1976 Murugaya Best Screenplay 1984 Kondar Best Director, Bengali 1982 Akalar Shandhani Filmfare Lifetime Achievement Award 2017 Bengali Cinema International Awards Moscow International Film Festival, Silver Prize 1975 Chorus 1979 Parashoram Karlovy Very International Film Festival, Special Jury Prize 1977 Oka Ori Katha Berlin International Film Festival Interfilm Award 1979 Parashoram 1981 Akalar Sandhane Grand Jury Prize 1981 Akalar Sandhane Cannes Film Festival, Jury Prize 1983 Karij Viado Lead International Film Festival, Golden Spike 1983 Karij Chicago International Film Festival, Gold Hugo 1984 Kondar Montreal World Film Festival, Special Prize of the Jury 1984 Kondar Venice Film Festival, OCIC Award, Honorable Mention 1989 Ek Din Achanak Cairo International Film Festival, Silver Pyramid for Best Director 2002 Amar Bhuban State and institutional honors In 1979, he was awarded the Nehru Soviet Land Award by the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics for his contribution to world cinema. In 1981, the Government of India awarded him with the Padma Bhushan. 
In 1985, President François Mitterrand, the President of France, awarded him the Commandeur de Ordre des Arts et des Lettres Commander of the Order of Arts and Letters, the highest civilian honor conferred by that country, in recognition of significant contributions to the arts, literature, or the propagation of these fields. In 1993, he was awarded an honorary D. Lit. by the University of Berdwin. In 1996, he was awarded an honorary D. Lit. by Jadaspur University. In 1999, he was awarded an honorary D. Lit. by Rabindra Bharati University. Between 1998 and 2003, he was made an honorary member of the Indian Parliament in the Rajya Sabha. In 2000, President Vladimir Putin of the Russian Federation honored him with the Order of Friendship. In 2005, the Dadasaheb Falk Award, the highest honor given to an Indian filmmaker, was awarded to him by the Government of India for the year 2003. In 2009, he was awarded an honorary D. Lit. by the University of Calcutta. In 2017, he was inducted as a member of the Oscar Academy. Trivia He is a friend of Gabriel Garcia Marquez and had often been invited as a judge in international film festivals. In 2004, Rinal Sen completed his autobiographical book, Always Being Born. Lifetime Achievement Award at 5th Global Film Festival Noida 2012. Filmography Feature films Riyat Bor, The Dawn, 1955. Neil Akashar Nietzsche, Under the Blue Sky, 1959. Bashi Shravana, Wedding Day, 1960. Punasha, Over Again, 1961. Abashishi, and At Last, 1963. Pratiniti, The Representative, 1964. Akash Kusum, Up in the Clouds, 1965. Matira Manisha, Man of the Soil, Odia Film, 1966. Bhuvan Shom, Mr. Bhuvan Shom, 1969. Interview, 1971. Ek Adari Kahani, An Unfinished Story, 1971. Calcutta 71, 1972. Patatik, The Guerrilla Fighter, 1973. Chorus, 1974. Muragaya, The Royal Hunt, 1976. Oka Ori Katha, The Outsiders, 1977. Parasuram, The Man with the Axe, 1978. Ek Din Pratidin, and Quiet Rolls the Dawn, 1979. Akalar Sandhane, In Search of Famine, 1980. Chalchitra, The Kaleidoscope, 1981. Karij, The Case is Closed, 1982. Kondar, The Ruins, 1983. Genesis, 1986. Ek Din Achanak, Suddenly, One Day, 1989. Mahaprithibi, World Within, World Without, 1991. Entering, The Confined, 1993. Amar Bhuvan, This, My Land, 2002. Topic: <laughs> Short Films. Ikapuran, The Wish Fulfillment, 1970. Tasvir Apni Apni, Portrait of an Average Man, 1984. Aparajit, Unvanquished, 1986-87. Kabi Dor Kabi Paas, Sometimes Far, Sometimes Near, 1986-87. Swamvar, The Courtship, 1986-87. Aina, The Mirror, 1986-87. Revivar Sunday 1986-87 Akal These Days 1986-87 Dubahin Two Sisters 1986-87 JIT Win 1986-87 Salgira Anniversary 1986-87 Shawl 1986-87 Ajnabi The Stranger 1986-87 Das Sol Baad, ten years later, 1986-87. Topic: Documentaries. 
Moving Perspectives 1967 Tripura Prasanga 1982 City Life Calcutta My El Dorado 1989 And the show goes on Indian Chapter 1999 Topic Films on Rinal Sen Ten Days in Calcutta A Portrait of Rinal Sen directed by Reinhard Hoff 1984 with Rinal Sen directed by Sanjay Bhattacharya and Rahul Bose 1989 Portrait of a Filmmaker directed by Romesh Sharma 1999 A Man Behind the Curtain directed by Sapantho Bhattacharya 1998 A Documentary Proposal directed by RV Ramani 2014